Hello, and welcome to Sunshine Conversations for Developers. In this course, we'll introduce you to the basics of the Sunshine Conversations platform. My name is Ali Gonzalez, and I'm an instructional designer at Zendesk. I'll be walking you through this course, which was designed by Quinn Crosley. Over the course of these lessons, we'll go over the basic structure of the Sunshine Conversations API. Then, we'll build a simple Sunshine Conversations app together. This lesson will focus on giving you an introduction to the platform, what it does, how it works, and what tools you need to get started. First, let's talk about the basic features and functionalities of Sunshine Conversations. Sunshine Conversations is an API product for messaging. Sunshine Conversations allows you to extend beyond the out-of-the-box messaging features that come with Zendesk. Compared to messaging, these are some of the biggest advantages of using Sunshine Conversations. One continuous conversation. Keep conversations going across multiple channels without losing any contacts. Build messaging into any application using native SDKs for web, Android, and iOS. Deliver rich, interactive messages. Move beyond text and create custom interactive message types. And seamlessly integrate bots and middleware into the conversation flow. Let's talk about the architecture of Sunshine Conversations. In Sunshine Conversations, everything lives inside your account. Within the account is an individual Sunshine Conversations app. Some accounts can have multiple apps, which allows you to create different apps for different environments. Each app contains integrations. Integrations allow the app to communicate with your business systems or end users. These integrations occur at the app level. On the left side, we can see business systems. We refer to business system as any system with the business uses to communicate with Sunshine Conversations application. These are the tools you'll use to handle conversations with end users, manage tickets, or handle other business tasks. For example, this app is connected to Zendesk support and is connected to other business systems using webhooks and the API. Then on the right side, you can see how end users interact with Sunshine Conversations apps. Users can communicate with businesses via different messaging channels such as Facebook Messenger, Twilio, WhatsApp, and Twitter. User and message data is stored on the app level. In practice, here's what this looks like with an individual request. A user writes in from any integrated channel, such as social channels or SDKs. That message comes from the channel to a Conversations app. Then, Sunshine Conversations takes that message and communicates with the business systems on the other side, and that message turns into a ticket in Zendesk support. This diagram also works in reverse. If an agent responds, that message goes back through the Sunshine Conversations app and directly to the user on any of the social channels they might be using. Users can see the conversation history across multiple channels. Now that we have a basic understanding of how Sunshine Conversations works, let's talk about how you can work with it as a developer. There are lots of different ways to interface with Sunshine Conversations with the API. These are some of the main feature areas. Conversations allows you to create and manage conversations. This includes components such as messages, users, and activities. With account provisioning, you can provision apps, app keys, and permissions. Integrations allows you to manage integrations for business systems and messaging channels. With Notifications API, you can proactively send outbound messages to users. You can use Switchboard to orchestrate bot to human handover across different channels and systems. And there are many more features that are not included in this list. In this introduction, we'll focus on the Conversations API. Let's take a look at how a conversation works in Sunshine Conversations. When a user reaches out to a business, Sunshine Conversations creates a conversation object. Each user can be mapped to multiple conversations. Each conversation contains messages from two parties, the user and the business. 
Messages from the user will be registered as user messages. Responses from the business will be registered as business messages. Sunshine Conversations combines all of the messages from each different platform and displays everything to the agent. Within a conversation, the API allows you to send a variety of rich messages. In addition to plain text, you have access to the following message types. Images, locations and location requests, carousels, quick reply buttons, post back requests, and custom messaging extensions. Sunshine Conversations will translate these message types to make sure they appear correctly across all channels. Each channel supports different message types. In a case where a message type isn't supported, Sunshine Conversations will automatically use a fallback format to display the information. Here's a quick overview of some of the available messaging channels in Sunshine Conversations. Each channel supports different message types. You can learn more about each channel's capabilities in the developer documentation. Additionally, Sunshine Conversations supports three SDKs, Web Messenger, iOS, and Android. You can also find more information about each of the SDKs in the developer documentation. To close our introduction to Sunshine Conversations, let's take a look at the developer documentation. We encourage you to follow along with this demo. We'll start by going to docs.smooch.io. Here, we can see a general guide on how to work with the various features and integrations that Sunshine Conversations offers. Under Channels, we recommend bookmarking this Channel Capabilities page. Here, you can see an interactive table that shows each of the messaging channels available in Sunshine Conversations and the different message types they support. If you click on the message type, you can see how to use it with documentation and sample code. And if you click on a channel, each channel has its own detailed guide that covers setup instructions, messaging capabilities, and common questions. The next important section to know about is the API reference. We can access it by clicking on this API reference link or by navigating to docs.smooch.io slash rest. In the API reference, you'll find more specific details about each endpoint that Sunshine Conversations offers. In the center, you can see details about the different variables and responses. On the right, you can see what the JSON payload will look like and toggle between example code in multiple different languages. There are lots of helpful resources in the developer documentation, so definitely keep this link handy as you work through the course exercises. That's the end of this demo on how to navigate the Sunshine Conversations developer documentation. Knowledge Check Where does Sunshine Conversations store user and message data? In the account, in the app, or in the integration? Sunshine Conversation stores user and message data on the app level. Because one account can have multiple apps for different businesses, data is not shared between apps. And since apps need to share data across multiple channels, the data can't be limited to just one integration. In this lesson, we discussed the overall structure of Sunshine Conversations and its API. To summarize, Sunshine Conversations app use integrations to connect with messaging channels and business systems. Sunshine Conversations combines messages from multiple channels to create a unified conversation. Each channel supports different types of rich messaging content. In the next lesson, we'll start by building our own Sunshine Conversations application.